So you say that I moan a lot. You have done way more moaning on this than me. This clutch, this paddle clutch that's on this car now is horrible. Yeah, this clutch. clutch is ridiculous. Maybe once or twice, yeah. Today's a good day, mate. The clutch is getting changed on the RS4, finally. So what has been your problem with the car? Well, it ju judders bad. It's really, really bitey. It's not the right clutch for the car. RTS got in touch with us. You shouldn't have that clutch in the car. It's not the right one. We'll make you a clutch. We'll get it done properly and make you a clutch. We're going to get it done and it's going to drive just like it should do. So please make sure you subscribe Evil GT and click the notification bell for all. And don't forget Evil GT cars on Instagram. Give us a follow. And if you didn't already know, we've got the Focus RS up for raffle, mydreammachine.co.uk, $7.99 a ticket. Go check it out. Car's been in here for half an hour now. It's half nine, is it? Yeah. About that. Do you know the procedure? <laughs> no. Although I am a trained Audi technician, actually. Yeah. So the exhaust's off. I think the downpipe's coming out. Yeah. Something well, that else is, is getting. That is the exhaust. Actually, just thinking about this. What? Just thinking he needs a lift. It does look like he's struggling there. To be fair, though. It's a bit embarrassing for somebody, you know, when professionals come in and then start saying, you're actually you're doing us, it right? Yeah, yeah, when, you, was, yeah. you know, and you start saying, actually, you're doing that wrong. It sort of belittles people, doesn't it? So I don't know if we should maybe stay out of the way. Should and we just not say anything to it? I think we probably should. All right, come on. Then. There's going to be good news and bad news, I reckon, with this. Yeah. The good news is... Well, everything's been off already, so they changed the clutch already in this. We just hope that the flywheel doesn't need changing now as well, because obviously the wrong clutch has been on. Johnny has just brought it to our attention, and by the way, he's our biggest supporter, Evil GT. He's watched every single video yeah. twice, yeah. maybe even three times, just for the ad rev. He just said <laughs> you haven't had a breakfast bet on it for ages. We haven't done a breakfast so bet. What, what should we do? Well, we're a bit unsure as to whether this flywheel is going to be any good because it's had the wrong clutch on. I think it'll be knackered. Do you think it'll be? I think it'll be okay because it's, it's not done enough miles to destroy it, so we'll soon find out. So, a breakfast on it? Yeah, breakfast, yeah. I mean, I hope this is again, it's a win win for me because if it's not knackered, I don't have to replace yeah, the flywheel. Fine. If it is, I get a breakfast. Johnny, what are you going with? I'm going to say it's knackered. <laughs> All right, so it's two against one. Everyone's seen the video where you went and got your RS3 wheels done. Yeah. Completely wrong size tyres, didn't do any research on it whatsoever. I did loads and people put their tyres on it. But the fronts on these are bald on the inner edge, just like us. So. <laughs> we're going to take the two five fives off your new wheels. Yeah. Put them on this. Yeah. Then we're going to get some two four fives for yours, and then that should stop the inner arch rub on the front. Yeah. So it's a good day up to now. So far, so good. Yeah. Until you see the flywheel. Before we go any further, we're going to have to give a massive shout out to RTS, who have supplied the clutch and done it custom. So this is a custom clutch for that car. And here it is. New clutch from RTS, thank you very much. The one that's on it at the minute has just got the paddles on it and then that's what's making it so grabby and bitey. Whereas now, it's like a regular clutch on one side and performance the other side. Bedding in procedure. Right, so it says, make sure you bed the clutch in immediately after installation. You know what okay. that means as well though? What? You're not allowed to drive it then. What's down to your right hand side? Closest. Exhaust, prop shaft. And? John's checked it, it's fine. Usually, nice one. the bearing in the centre and stuff can yep. go and go all knackered and all that okay. kind of stuff. So it's but all it's good, yeah? yeah? Well done. We're I'm saving money so far. Do you know what? If I could jump up and down, I would do. I'm so <laughs> happy for you. I know, but you're dicky it. Your glass apple, you'll put it out if you start jumping. <laughs> Look at that, he's well hungry, he's starving, this kid. Let's take this check for me out. Ready? Weighing you up. Have you ever had you before? Yeah, I've had me. Yeah. I'm definitely not doing it. No chance, mate. You put <laughs> you put your hand in there. I ain't doing that. No way. Yeah. 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 Seeing so, you know, always such good customers at Awesome GTI now. Yeah. Every time we come in, Mark brings us so, a present. Uh, you got right. a present for us? I have actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How, did I, how did I know that? Best, it's actually the best present. Go on, let's look see at it. him, look at I am nervous. It's I'm actually nervous the best it. present that I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you. So I've go got on. one for your car, right? Okay. And this is definitely needs to stay in the car. Right, okay. But you need to get one from home as well. No problem. And this is? This is the fire safety stick. Why did you have to check it then? <laughs> I know because why. Because you got it wrong in your last video, didn't you? I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're not going to start it, are you? No. 
right that comes off and then that comes out but that bit there you strike it against that bit yeah and then that's it then it and just, it just goes, goes out yeah right, easy everywhere and then you go hopefully yeah. though we don't have a fire well yeah fingers crossed everyone hopes that <laughs> where are they available from do you think <laughs> exclusively at awesome gti is it supposed to do that yeah yeah it's not too bad all right so being blunt is it fucked no. No, no. Well, you're alright then. So, yeah. you, so like the it'll go again, yeah. it'll go. It'll be fine yeah. now with a proper clutch in it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's okay, yeah. Yeah. How long for though? Like five thousand miles? Are we talking like twenty-five thousand miles? Depends on that foot. Yeah. It depends like how you drive it. Yeah. But, but to be fair, probably in. about five years because you drive like a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> the flywheel is um, has got hot spots on it, but John said we c he can clean it up or we can replace it. But the replacement's going to be a thousand pound. But that I'd one's not spend that in a minute. Nah, it's a bit expensive, really, for the car. Now yeah. we have spent a lot of money on this car, so he said, "I can clean it up. It'll still work fine. There's no issue with it. Or you can change it. So we're cleaning it up, right? There so we we'll see how that goes in a minute when he's um, scored it all. Well, just sanding it down with the paper. Yeah. The two clutches are side by side here. RTS is the paddle one that we got originally. It's just not quite right. It's juddery and stuff like that. So fair play to uh, RTS. They got in touch. They said the clutch that you've got in your car is for running big power with like single mass flywheels and all that kind of stuff. Which at the time, you know, we didn't know. So the clutch they took out, they got on and said, we'll make you a clutch. We'll make you a twin material friction thing clutch. Hybrid bit. thing, yeah. Um, and yeah, here it is. It looks yeah. mint. It looks like the same as the one that's in the Focus. And that clutch is absolutely fine. So yeah. fingers crossed. Oh. It drives better. So thank you again to RTS yeah, for making the clutch, guys. custom clutch. So hopefully you know what it'll this be good. Is? This is my relieved face now. I'm relieved that that clutch is out of it. Yeah. So it should be good. Happy now? Yeah. Well, I'm no expert, but that looks like it's done now. Apart from the engine mount things that, that stopped the engine, I think, from falling out the bottom. Yeah. Is that right? So that I don't know if we said this before, but that had to be supported because there was a couple of bolts that were just awkward. So that something was disconnected. The engine would have fallen out if it wasn't supported. Something like that. So that's a pretty big thing. I we think. might be wrong with what we just explained there, but yeah. Well, usually are. So I don't take that as a fact. That's just our description of it. <laughs> anyway, um, no one's here. It looks like everyone's on lunch. So the car's going to get dropped in a minute. That's going to get taken off. We're going to take it outside. We're going to go for a drive in it. Yeah. Hopefully, he should stop moaning. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Words cannot describe my love for that car. So he's gone out to road test it now to try and sort of make sure that everything is as it should be. He's bringing it back, putting it on the geo thing, making sure me me toes and me yeah, yeah. me things and all that sorted out. You can help with that. So you boxed it off last time, didn't you? It's quite easy to do, to be fair. Okay. Yeah, I can um, do that. You, yeah, you're all right with a spanner. And well, I work with one every day. <laughs> Johnny said the clutch is dead light. Right. So I said I want to have a go of it to see how it feels. Mate, right, for the past four or five months, you've not wanted to go anywhere near that car. Now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden the clutch is sorted out. You want to go? Jog so, on, mate. So you're saying I'm not allowed? I'm, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can jog on. You didn't. You weren't interested before. Mate, car, get in here. Two right. Okay, Johnny. Yeah, mate. Sweet up. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Is he allowed to uh, drag race this next week? Yeah, so Monday. I've booked it. I've got the tickets done. Booked. Don't let me down now, John. What are we saying? Yeah, well, there's a few hundred miles on it, we men. Yeah, you yeah. might be all right, yeah. There you go, see, told you. How many do you need, though? How many miles? About oh, 800. 500. Oh, 500. I'd smash that. But it's 200 well, to get down there. But up and down the gears in traffic. Yeah. That's not six gear. It on is the, the M6, M6 though. Yeah. The M6 is a car park, mate. You'll we'll get be up slated and down for gears. that if you take that on. We'll be fine. So, what we'll you're trying to say is, I wouldn't advise it. No. When have we ever taken anybody's? We don't take our own advice, never mind somebody else's. Do you want to just put this in for next week? For <laughs> <laughs> another <laughs> clutch. <laughs> Thank you very much for RTS though, for not pissing and moaning. They got on the phone and said, boys, you've got the wrong one in there. We'll make you one. It'll be sound. And they did. Thank you very much. And awesome GTI. Thanks to yeah. Mark and Johnny and everybody else there for fishing. All the lads. It. Much appreciated. Keeping him happy. Stopping moaning. Yeah. So Because um, only one of us are allowed to moan on this channel. Yeah, well, it was your turn over that. You so do plenty I'll of it. I'll be back to my moaning for something else. The reason I moan a lot 
and I've never, I've never explained this on camera before, is when you get to a certain age, 64, 64, 48, <laughs> you have zero tolerance for dickheads. <laughs> Thank you so, very much for watching the video anyway. So quickly, uh, subscribe and follow us on Instagram, Evil GT Cars, because we put other stuff on there as well. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that is it. Finished. End of the video. Ta-ra. See you later.